Yo, I predict that during the second half of 2021, we're going to see not just large institutions and companies, but also entire central banks to come out and say, guys, we're going to explore public infrastructure, aka decentralized ledger technology, such as blockchains or DAGs, in order to explore ways how we can build new payment systems, for example, right? Central bank digital currencies and all these cool things. My job is it now as a blockchain researcher and a crypto investor to figure out which are the large projects that have ties to those institutions and central banks. And over the past couple of months, I've done a lot of research and also videos and content about Cosmos and Hedera Hashgraph, right? And Cosmos just has been mentioned by the European Central Bank in one of their latest reports, page 35. Guys, check this out. It's absolutely crazy. And Hedera Hashgraph, I made a whole episode about it. They have ties to the Federal Reserve Bank through MTech, right? Which is a startup that consults um, central banks. Now, today I want to present to you another project that I just started to do more and more, more research on, and that is Algorand, guys. And if you want to learn more about it and go on this journey with me over the next few weeks to follow up on Hedera, Algorand, Cosmos, and maybe some more projects, then subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it with one or two friends, and also make sure that you watch this entire thing. All right, so a few days ago, I actually made a video about my top five picks for May for this month, right? And if you haven't seen that yet, then pause this video, open a new tab and watch this video first, right? Because I also mentioned Algorand in this video along with four other cryptocurrencies. Now, why do I mention these projects and why is Algorand on that list? Algorand is on that list because it has a very strong team, incredibly strong fundamentals, unique technology, right? And that's always what matters the most, the technology and the team and the people behind, right? It has a very active community. And the most important part of it, it has a huge ecosystem that reaches from um, central banks and large institutions and enterprises to the deepest crypto DeFi projects. So we're going to be talking about this and so much more, also about the Algo coin, about staking rewards, about custody on Algorand, about uh, listings, right? And all these kinds of things. And um, th therefore, make sure you really stick out to the end of the video. All right. So first things first, let's look into Algorand as the coin, right? And currently, Algo is trading at $1.53. I've been stacking it over the past few months, actually already a long time ago. Guys, you know, I'm holding a lot of coins. I bought my first algo around 20, 25 cents. And it currently has a circulating market capitalization of 4.5 billion US dollars and a fully diluted market cap of 15.27 billion, right? And I know a lot of you guys are new to crypto. First off, welcome to the fastest growing asset class under the sun. I'll briefly explain to you what the difference between the circulating and the fully diluted market cap means, because I think a lot of people don't even know the difference, but it's actually super important to understand, right? So the fully diluted market cap is the market value of Algorand based on all coins that exist, right? On the so-called um, max supply, right? So that's the coins that have been minted in a so-called token generation event, right? The TGE, which is when the the Algorand formally went live, right? The, the mainnet launched of Algorand, right? So that's where the coins have been minted and 10, of, 10 billion of them have been created, but not all of them are on the market, right? Not all of them are on the open market, right? Most of them actually, nearly 70% are still in the foundation, are still with the company, with the team, with the advisors, with the partners, right? So that leaves us with only 2.97 uh, billion coins that are circulating and that equals almost 30%, right? And based on those 30%, we can say it has a circulating market cap of 4.5 billion, right? So that's why you see two market caps here. Now the question is which one is more important, right? Well, in the short term, obviously the circulating is more important because that's the current value of all coins that exist um, in the open market, right? But in the longer run, and now we have to look into the vesting schedules, into how do they distribute those coins that are, they are still holding? In the longer term, this number is more important, right? So there's always uh, just a brief um, introduction and a thing to, to really wrap your head around if you're new to crypto especially, and to really understand the difference between circulating market cap and fully diluted market cap, right? 
Um, if we look, for example, now this is important to remember, Dogecoin is sitting on a um, market capitalization of nearly 80 billion US dollars. And if we go back here to um, Algorand, it has only 4.5 billion. So that's almost 20 times upward potential, right? For Algorand in relation to Dogecoin, right? Now let's look into the historic price chart here. We're seeing that Algorand actually launched here in uh, mid 2019. So it's quite new. They didn't go through the entire bear market um, and to the entire last cycle in 2017, but they do have um, had a rough start, right? So it launched here around um, $2.15, right? When it came on the market and then it dropped significantly, right? And bottomed out here in March, 2020 at 15 cents. And that's also kind of like um, during 2020, I think in July, August, I think I started to buy my first algo. And um, since then it has been going up a lot. You can also see here down, uh, down below that the trading volumes have been increasing. That's always a great sign, right? To see when trading volumes go up. And if you look at that chart, right? We're still away from all time high, right? We're still away from those $2 um, which, which it had when it launched. And there's still room, right? It hasn't really exploded yet, right? And I always like to explore coins before they explode, right? Right now, if you look, for example, at Dogecoin, at Bitcoin, Ethereum, right? Even uh, uh, Cardano or even Polkadot, right? Like all these coins that have had massive runs behind them and a lot of multipliers that already have been made. But Algorand, for, in my opinion, at least, and we can see that here on the chart, actually, um, they had their peak here in February. And since then have been consolidating, consolidating a lot. But I think if we see another cycle of alt season, right, where all coins are popping and flying, then Algorand, since it has very strong fundamentals, could fly really, really hard, right? There's also a quick explainer here what Algorand is about, but we, we're going to look into this in a second. Also, another thing that is important is the accessibility, right? Where is Algorand trading? It's on Binance, it's on Coinbase Pro, it's on Huobi Global. Um, Chinese exchange, right? Um, this is an American exchange and Binance is basically a global exchange. Qcoin also Chinese and Kraken, right? So Kraken is also very solid exchange. They don't list many coins, to be honest. So it's quite hard to get listed there. And it's always great to see. Well, the downside of that list, of course, is that they don't have this card now, right? So they don't have the upcoming Binance or Coinbase listing, right? They have already been listed on all those exchanges. So that hype narrative is already gone, right? That card. Nevertheless, great to see that they are listed on all these exchanges. Now let's look into um, what, what Algorand is actually doing and why they're so um, important. Future finance is their kind of sales pitch and context that they see Algorand in. And I've done just basic research, so I'm not going to go deep today into Algorand. Um, we're going to do that over the next couple of weeks. But what Algorand basically uh, did is they have built technology that accelerates the convergence between DeFi and traditional finance, right? By enabling the simple creation of next generation financial products, protocols, and exchange of value. What that basically means, um, it's a bit very general, right? But they have built a proof of stake, a pure, they claim pure proof of stake blockchain that resolves the blockchain trilemma, which means scalability, security, and decentralization, right? So they claim that they have resolved that and they actually also back that up right away here on the website with real-time metrics on chain. They have nearly 11 million addresses or accounts on the Algorand chain. They have a block finality of 4.38 seconds with a TPS transactions per second of 1,161, right? So that's hard data on their blockchain. In comparison to that, Ethereum can only handle around 15 transactions per second right now, and Bitcoin can only uh, handle around five to seven transactions per second right now, right? Um, and Algorand has a decentralization of 1,271, which means that there are 1,271 nodes on the network. And I hope that by that, they mean also participating in the consensus and not just nodes that are running on the chain, but also participating on the consensus. So that's incredible if that is true. Um, again, I'm just going through the website here. I'm not going deep into that and I'm starting my research, but guys, um, this is already pretty cool. I like the context. I like the website. I like the design and not just that they are kind of like just building the technology and throwing it out there. They actually have a lot of use cases and we're going to look into government and CBDCs, which is what I'm mostly excited about. 
but also DeFi, right? Financial uh, institutional finance, and then uh, NFTs, right? They have actually here um, just announced a huge partnership with one of uh, Italy's largest rights management company um, since 1882, right? And um, they're now apparently going to launch 4 million NFTs on Algorand for almost 100,000 creators, right? So there's a lot of cool stuff here. Also in this NFT space, in the DeFi space, for example, this one was also announced a few weeks ago and it's the world's first Algorand IDO. So I haven't looked deeply into that, but it's cool to see that, you know, they're also playing into this field, right? They're also playing in the DeFi field, into yield generation, decentralized finance. I think it's a huge, huge narrative that is going to be also extremely big um, during the summer, right? As we see now Uniswap version three just went live, as we see now interoperability is becoming a reality thanks to Cosmos and the inter-blockchain communication protocol. And I think this could also be really big and also spill over to other networks such as Algorand, right? And this man is the man of the hour because he's the founder of um, Algorand, Silvio Micali. Um, he also won uh, a Turing Award from the MIT, right? So he's also a professor there, a researcher and a computer scientist. And they have a huge team of uh, leading cryptographers, computer science experts, mathematicians, economists, right? Um, I know, for example, also Charles Hoskinson speaks very high, high of them. Charles Hoskinson is the founder of IOHK, the deaf arm behind Cardano, right? So that's really cool to see. And uh, well, Algorand apparently has created a unique proof of stake consensus mechanism, which provides security, scalability, and decentralization with speed and finality that is needed as a financial for financial systems to be modernized. I love to see different approaches on the matter, right? I've talked a lot about Hedera and their approach, how they resolve the scalability trilemma with the hash graph algorithm. And I just love to see different ways how to resolve that. And in the end of the day, I want to see them also be able to communicate to each other, right? Because I don't think we have to pick a winner here, right? I think it's fine to diversify, just as we're also diversifying at the current internet, right? We don't have just one social media platform that we're using, right? And I think um, that's how I see the crypto space. We're going to see a lot of different blockchains, a lot of different, even DLTs that are going to be able to communicate to each other in a seamless and fast way, right? Without us even noticing it, right? And we'll see that simply by um, by, by the range of applications that are within their ecosystem, right? So Algorand has already 500 global organizations that leverage the Algorand technology, which enables the simple creation of next-gen financial products, protocols, and exchange of value across DeFi, financial institutions, and governments. But now let's look more into specific use cases. So we have the Marshall Islands. Algorand was selected to power the first national digital currency known as the SOV, which will circulate alongside the US dollar and help the Marshall Islands efficiently to operate um, in the global economy, right? And this is something that I'm really, really excited about, right? If you see already the first pilot projects with entire nations and central banks to design central bank digital currencies, right? And also SIAE, right? Which we've already talked about. And then also the Fundacio Ugo Bordoni, uh, which is committed to supporting and implementing the activities of 5G in investigation of potential of artificial intelligence and the design and management of digital networks and services, right? So we have a bunch of, uh, a range of um, use case scenarios here, CBDC, NFTs, and also um, network infrastructure, right? With 5G inter integrations. And if you also follow Algorand on YouTube, um, they, they're always participating in a bunch of online webinars when also they talk about central bank digital currency. So that's how I kind of like have been up to date with the project. But now I think over the next weeks and months, I want to really go deeper into that and also go down the rabbit hole of how the tech really works under the hood, how the community is you know, involved and engaged, um, the ecosystem, the use cases, right? And all these kinds of things, right? All right, and lastly, before we wrap it up for today, let's look into stakingrewards.com, which is where you can find details about the staking and the returns. And the Algorand is ranked six here um, based on the total staked value in the network. Um, they have a participation rate of 52.73% and um, a current reward rate of um, a current APR um, 
annual percentage return of 5.55%, right? It's very easy to stake and it's also very stable according to stakingrewards.com. So check that out. You can stake it on multiple, um, uh, multiple wallets, right? Also on Binance, there are certain campaigns where you can stake it and log it in for more um, returns and higher returns. However, be advised that this is more risky because you have counterparty risk of, of Binance or whatever centralized exchange you're using. Well, I really hope you like this quick introduction of Algorand and also um, basically see how I start my journey, right? With certain crypto projects, right? So I've been really convinced of kind of like their involvement on very high level um, institutions and enterprises as well as um, central bank digital currencies, right? I like their originality. I like their branding. I like the whole community, right? They're super active also on Twitter. And also now that to see that they're active in NFT space and DeFi space, right? It's all kind of like coming together. So this might be one of the outperformers for this year, for the rest of this year, or, or at least this uh, alt season and altcoin cycle. Um, especially if you look at a chart, I think it has a lot of upward potential. Of course, guys, none of this is any sort of financial advice. I'm just sharing my personal research results so that you can take smarter decisions in the crypto space. And with that being said, guys, please leave a like under this video and also go on Twitter, copy the link here and paste it there and click on tweet, right? Share this video, circulate it with your friends on WhatsApp, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, everywhere, on Instagram, right? And I also hope that you will return to my channel and become a frequent viewer. And uh, yeah, just help me spread the word. I think that's super important right now in those volatile and uncertain times, politi politically, economic wise, right? The whole world is kind of like, um, in uncertainty right now, but crypto is thriving. And right now, I think there's a huge opportunity for us in the crypto space to make a difference, right? For our personal finances, but maybe also for, you know, others that are closely around with us. So be good, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.